important to accessorize. That's right. That's right. Polite comment. Polite comment, yes. I wanted to see if I could find one of these for everybody, but they're hard to find right now. It's almost afterwards, so Gay and I had a conversation. You never know, I'm always up to surprises. So just know that I'm seeing every single one of you with your light shining today. Indeed. It's such a wonderful time of year for so many reasons. We have Christmas, and I know Melanie spoke a little bit about the solstice a couple weeks ago. She touched on that. But I really wanted to bring that energy to this talk today, into this experience. There are so many ways I think we forget, actually, what nature, God, if you will, offers us in every single moment. And one of the things to me that was so simple was vitamin D. Do you know where that comes from? The sun. How many of you go outside? and spend time in the sun and allow yourself to truly be nourished. It's amazing when you stop and think about it that everything that we need is right here, right now. The prayers, the things that people were sharing. And I was sitting there and I have all these notes and stuff and sometimes I bring a little, sometimes I bring a lot and you could talk about so many different aspects of this time of year. But it was, I was listening to Maria and that sense of coming out of the darkness. Even when I entitled this talk, I wanted to say a return to the light, coming out of the darkness. But then I thought, no, here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. And you could think of it as also not just S-U-N, but S-O-N. Depending on your belief system, depending on if you celebrate the birth of the Christ child, which to me, in metaphor, is about the Christ consciousness. It's about the light consciousness. And to me, vitamin D, ever since I put this talk together, I'm going to think of now as vitamin divine. So allow yourself to bask in that light. Allow yourself to be open to knowing, as the quote that Melanie put on the front of the bulletin, have you read the quote? Take a look at the quote right now. It's very powerful. And if you don't have a bulletin, make sure you get one today to take it home with you. And I would like us all to say this together. And to just let it wash over you and go into every cell and fiber of your being. Together. Turn your face to the sun and the shadows fall behind you. Breathe that in. Breathe that in. And as you're breathing that in, allow yourself to breathe in that vibration. Breathe in the sound and the energy. What is offered to you in that moment the light, of the nourishment, the places within you and the places outside of you perhaps that have become hardened, the places that have perhaps you've tucked away and they haven't seen the light in a very long time, be it in your mind, in your heart, in your body, wherever that may be. Turn your face to the sun. Turn your heart, your mind, all that you are. Feel that energy wash over you now. God is everywhere you are. Spirit, whatever you may call it, that vitamin D, 
the divine. Allow yourself to be receptive to it. In, around, and through you, the light is carrying love, peace, joy, compassion, and loving kindness. Allow your heart to be filled today. Allow your heart to be warmed. Allow yourself to bask in this light of love so that we can create and we can know without a doubt that the space of grace and peace is always there. Embody that. Know that you are it. You truly are the light of the world. Allow yourself to come back now if you were basking on the beach perhaps or maybe on a mountaintop, opening your heart and your mind just to receive the blessing of this time of year. To know that we can carry this energy within our heart, in our words, in our thoughts, in our actions. Everything that we do, we become it. We are it. Here comes the sun, however you spell it. Allow that energy to elevate you into this divine dimension. The return of the light, the season of the year, when we actually, it actually starts, I should say, it starts on Tuesday and kind of moves in, or Monday moves into Tuesday, so it's kind of that whole, that whole time. And actually the word solstice means sun standing still. You believe the sun stands still? If the sun can stand still, can you not too stand still? In a moment, and pause, and just be. To allow the energy of all that you are to stream through you, so that your light is so brilliant, you almost have to put on sunglasses to be able to see it. That presence is so powerful. It's a perfect time actually during this time, and we are already doing it during the prayer time, to pause, to reflect, to offer gratitude, and to integrate all that has transpired during this year while we move into a new season. With the solstice, with the actual Christmas time and celebration of the birth of the Christ child, again, that Christ consciousness, the Christ light. It's a time also for planting. We plant the seeds in the soil. When they're in the soil, we don't see them, do we? It's in that place of darkness. But as we clear out that space, we can plant these seeds very consciously, very mindfully, knowing that we are making the right choices because we are so clear. Our path is illuminated, and we are right on target. We already know what it is our heart's desires are if we open to seeing them clearly. The sun has been used in many different cultures and religions as a symbol of the divine. It represents the cycle of death and rebirth towards evolution. We are ever changing. When we become static, we become stagnant. The plants grow if there's not a sun to shine upon them. Perhaps some grow a little bit in the darkness, but most of the time, in order for the process to happen, they need sunlight. We need that as well. It's such a wonderful time to just kind of get cozy and cuddle up to the fire, even this candle right here in front of me. When you look at that, to be able to see that divine light reflecting back at you. An anthropologist once went into an indigenous tribe in a faraway land. In his journal, he wrote that every day, just before dawn, the members of that tribe gathered outside to perform a strange ritual. They started to yell and crash objects in order to make a lot of noise. Only when the sun finally rose above the horizon did the Indians stop the rite. 
This helps the sun win the battle against darkness and rise again, someone said. Astonished, the anthropologist asked the leader of that tribe if they really thought that the sun only rose because they made all that noise, which seemed a bit irrational. The leader smiled and said, the leader smiled and answered, you are so stupid. Of course the sun will rise, regardless of our rituals. The sun already won this fight against the dark night a long, long time ago. The sun inside each of us, however, still has to struggle to win the fight against our lower instincts, our ego self. And this is why we make all this noise, to help our inner sons triumph over our dark side. The dark side. How perfect Star Wars is just in you, right? <laughs> May the Force be with you. May your faith be strengthened and nourished. May your faith be with you. It says this story synthesizes much of the symbolism of the sun in ancient cultures. Again, there is a sun inside each of us, which is a mirror of the sun that we see in the sky. By watching the movement of the sun, we are also watching the movement of our souls towards spiritual ascension. What did you come here for? For your soul to awaken to expand, to remember, to know that we are so much more than the physical bodies. But we go through these experiences as we share today during prayer time and all the things that were not shared and all the things going on in this world throughout this planet. That we can know something different. That there is a light of hope. More than that. More than that. That there's always something to celebrate, no matter what. I like to think, too, of the light as a light of oneness. And as we ascend to that, truly, enlightenment, as I see it, is returning to the one from where we came. That is where we, we already are there, and we came from that. So the symbolism of the sun, once again, however you may be celebrating this Christmas season, this holiday season, season take a breath. Stand still like that beautiful sun. Think of the solar system. The sun is the star around which all other celestial bodies of that system revolve. Its brightness enlightens the planets, making life possible. This pattern repeats itself in nature, like in the atom, which has the exact same characteristics of a solar system. Are you not made of atoms? and molecules, energy, vibration. The electrons revolve around the nucleus like the planets go around the sun. Without the magnetism of the sun, the planets would be mere lifeless matter, wandering in space. So the sun is the light that determines the direction and purpose of the planets. What is your direction right now in your life? What is your purpose as we move into this huge energy vortex of change, of coming out of the darkness, of birthing and rebirthing a new consciousness? What direction are you headed in? Do you know what your purpose is? How clear is it? The soul, like the sun, reaches its peak then falls below the horizon to face the darkness, only to rise again next morning in an eternal cycle of that death and rebirth, as I mentioned earlier. In the spiritual realm, and with rebirth and death, we also look at the confrontations of us as human beings with our instincts, with our nature. It's easy to go into that funk place. It's easy to go into that muck and mire, and especially as we've spoken about the last several weeks, this time of year in particular can be very sensitive. There's a lot of emotion that's involved because for us to personalize our experience as a spiritual being, we chose to incarnate in this human form. What a beautiful blessing. And to know that we can reach out to one another, we can say, hey, 
Let's all gather hands and go outside and create a circle of light. We are the sun. We are that birthing of that new consciousness. How do we choose to shine it throughout the world? You might say that the sun is symbolic of our ability to direct our will and to have that sense of purpose. Do you believe in a divine plan? Or do you believe it's just happenstance? Whatever you believe is okay. I'm just throwing these out there to hopefully give you some food for thought if you don't have enough turkey during the holidays perhaps or enough dressing or whatever it is you're eating to give you more food for thought, some sustenance for your soul to marinate with and to be with and to digest. Are you guided by a set of values and principles that you stand in that place of your truth? What is it that you claim for you right now? Are you in balance? Are you that peace that we sing about the harmony that the band is creating? Are you those things? Where do you stand right now? And what do you do to bring these things into your life if you find that, oh my goodness, Jeannie, there's something missing? Perhaps again, you can go outside and allow the vitamin D to nourish you and to know that you are so blessed just by saying Yahoo to that. And another one after that. As the solstice bathes us in a celestial glory, we are reminded of our place in the universe. It's not our personality. It's not that you. It's the universal you. You are part of that whole. We are reminded that we are part of that creative spark and that we have the full power the full power of imagination. I can only imagine. Isn't that, isn't that a beautiful? Yeah, I know you were going to shake your head. I can only imagine. Go there. Allow the kids this time of year, too, if you're struggling with some of those things and you're like bumping them up against them, go into that part of a child and allow yourself to see through new eyes. Allow your imagination to open you up to receiving that sunlight so that you can get out of your own way. And instead of, you know, casting the shadow, you can truly turn to the light and know that those shadows will fall behind you and you can bless them at the same time. Everything is for your good. No exception. Everything is a gift and a present to you. The solstice marks an important jump in evolution for human consciousness. And we close off the energy as we shift out of 2015 on the calendar year into 2016. We are literally going to have the opportunity to reassess, to give thanks, and like I said earlier, to come to center and be still. It's a time for introspection, a time for reflection, a time to go within and to just simply be. And we have the opportunity to honor that creative cycle that began with the seed of us and to know that is ever flowing. Vitamin D. Next time I see you all, I want to say, hey, have you been taking your vitamins? And you'll say, yeah. I've been soaking up the divine, drinking it in. I think Melanie used that word earlier at the prayer beginning. Drink it in. Drink it in. The Yule time is a time for celebrating the nature's continuing cycle and again the return of the sun's light and warmth. Take time for you. And what I'm going to do, uh, the meditation did not happen this morning, but what I decided to do is to offer you a little bit of a sound experience to carry the words that I've shared with you and the energy of this season. We can call it the sounds of the season and just allow yourself to be with it for the next, you know, five, perhaps ten minutes. And this will also be part of the meditation. And when it's finished, then, then we will move on into the, the rest of the service. So I just invite you just to be right where you are. Close your eyes, lay on the floor. Just be comfortable. And I'm going to invite you to envision yourself in that beautiful, beautiful light. And allow it to wash over you.
just breathe. As you rise into a higher vibration and frequency, love dissolves anything unlike it. Your heart is caressed and cradled. Allow every fiber, every cell of your being to be cleansed, to be made pure and whole again. Awakening, awakening, remembering, returning to the light, returning to oneness from the place you came from. Breathe in deeply, intentionally. Allow your body your physical and non-physical body, allow it to unwind. Every tissue, every cell, letting go. Surrender to the sun. Breathing in naturally, knowing that you are loved, you are safe in this place. You are sustained and sourced with all that you need. It's already there within you. Turn your face, turn your higher self to the sun. Allow it to warm you and let your heart light glow this holiday season and every season. Breathe in the strength and resilience to walk your path with purpose, with passion, knowing you are prospered with more than enough. All is so very well. Life is good. Open the gift of this present moment. Enjoy it, share it, and shine your light. Just breathe. 